Hey guys, it's Thorpian here. I'm coming at you today with a video about Hypixel Skyblock. Uh, in fact, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting out on stranded mode. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make a new profile just so you guys can see how it's done and what it looks like when you first get started on stranded. So in order to play stranded, you need to go to your Hypixel profile. As you can see, we're currently on my... Ah! Stranded Island, and I got hit by a skeleton. Oh no! Anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta go to the Skyblock menu, Profile Management, and have an empty profile slot. So all you need to do is to click Empty Profile Slot, Special Modes, and Stranded. You can do this solo, you can do this in a co op, it's a lot of fun. But in order to make this video more interesting, not only am I gonna show you what how you actually start a profile because basically everyone knows how to do that. What I'm going to show you is what you should do with your profile when you first get started. So the first thing you should do is to create a crafting table and chop down your handy dandy oak tree. Well, you should chop down a couple logs anyway. And the reason for that is you want to make a wonderful pickaxe. A pickaxe you say, but why not an axe first? Well, because that way you can just go ahead and go straight to stone tools. There's no point in wasting your time with those silly willy wooden tools when you can have rock stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get some cobblestone, make it into a wooden ax, and finish chopping down this tree here. Now the reason we're chopping this tree first is because we needed the wood to make the tools. But more importantly, we also need to make a pickaxe. And I'm doing that because I don't like using wood for things because it's important for the minions that I'll tell you about in this video. Well, I'm only going to tell you about a couple. You do want to make sure you get an oak sapling before you leave your little island area because if these leaves decay and you drop an oak sapling and you don't get another one back, um, or if it you know goes away before you get it, then unfortunately you will be stuck. And nobody wants to be stuck. So if you look over there, you'll see that there's a minion. Well, let's get over there and claim our lovely dovey first minion. So to do that, we're just going to mine some cobble. All right, guys, I went ahead and mined enough cobble so we can bridge right over to our fantastic island. Now, what's over there? A Jerry. We don't care about the Jerry. Sorry, Jerry. Nobody loves you. We have our cobblestone minion, who's going to have already chopped up some cobblestone for us. Chop down, mind, mine, mine some cobblestone for us. And we have this very important chest, which contains a water bucket, a lava bucket, some bone meal, some dirt, some grass, whatever. The point is, it has a lava bucket and a water bucket. Now, be very careful with these items. If you lose them, you will essentially be locked in terms of progress until a significant amount of time later in the game. So what we're going to do with these is make a cobblestone generator. Oh my gosh, Thorpian, what a great idea. I never would have. Yeah, okay, we get it. Everyone knows you got to make a cobblestone generator, but that doesn't mean you don't have to make it. So go ahead and make your first cobblestone generator. However you prefer, my favorite mechanism is the old uh, water going down a block, cobble being generated in the middle. Um, the reason for this is it's simple, it's safe, and it takes about five seconds. Now, you again, remember, you do want to be careful, so don't let your lava touch your water, don't let your water touch your lava, and get a couple of mining levels. Now, the reason we want to do that is so that we can create, or rather, level up your uh, cobblestone to level three to get the auto smelter. Now, this can be a combination of you doing the work or just letting your minion do the work if you're lazy. I prefer the lazy method, so we're gonna go ahead and let the minion do the work. Now, the reason you want your auto smelter is because your next minion, after your cobblestone minion, is most likely going to be an oak minion. Why? Because you already have oak. Um, you're also going to want to make a sword to kill things just because it's easier. Now, beware. As you kill things, your combat level will go up. As your combat level goes up, the level of the 
things on your island besides the passive mobs will also increase. I like to empty out this center island because, you know, perfection, maybe. Um, and I also rather enjoy a flat island. So we're going to go ahead and flatten this island and get some dirt so that we can start an oak tree farm. Now, that's basically how you get started. So you want to grab that uh, bucket. You want to go ahead and start your oak tree farm. And my next video will go ahead and get into exactly what kind of minions you can make, how you make them, how you get them, etc. But first, haha, you thought it was over. We're going to go ahead and get started with a few other things. Now, there are four basic structures that you want to build on the high pixel stranded island when you first start. And those structures are going to be number one, an, an, a tree farm, number two, a regular farm farm, number three, a cobblestone generator, which we also built. And finally, last but not least, number four, a dark box. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a simple version of each of these things. Um, and, and then I'll go ahead and make videos about a more optimized fancy schmancy version. So for a uh, tree farm, obviously you don't want to use up all of your dirt. So I would recommend doing it this way. So you just put a piece of dirt and you put a sapling and you make sure that you have a little box a little around it in such a manner. Um, I usually place them two apart. Uh, you can put them three apart so you get more saplings. It's up to you. I prefer two apart because you get enough saplings that way from these trees. But uh, let's go ahead and do three apart for the lulls. So now we have a little tiny tree farm. We can expand this, but this will allow us to grow our trees and get oak wood. That's going to be one of the first minions we're going to get. And then we're going to use it to get other minions, such as the coal minion, etc., etc. Now, to, a couple of the things you need to know as you're starting out here, before we get into building a dark box and a uh, regular farm, is that there are trades. Now, these trades are very important because you can get two coal for the price of one oak wood. You can get grass for the cost of dirt. And soon, we'll be able to trade seeds for grass. You also have the island NPC menu. Your first thousand coins should probably be spent on getting the banker. Why? Because then you can store your coins so that when you die, <clears throat> if you're dumb like me, uh, when you die, you won't lose all of your coins. Um, you could also get things such as the uh, weaponsmith at level four to purchase some basic weapons. Uh, one of my favorites is this one. You can get some starter gear, but you'll need to unlock these using combat levels, farming levels, etc. So your skills allow you to unlock things. Um, you can spawn a baker as soon as you start. The baker is not going to give you much except the cake. So here we go. New Year cake. Huzzah! Yay! And a New Year cake bag, which you can buy for 250,000 coins, which guess what? You don't have. <laughs> There's no way. All right, so let's get back to what we were doing here. So we built our tree farm. Now we're gonna go ahead and build a farm farm. Now here's a problem though. At the moment, we don't actually have a water source block except for this one over here. So how do we deal with that problem? Well, it's really not that big a deal. You just A, can make your farm around the water source block. Or if you wanna get fancy with it, you can actually just make sure that you're four blocks away from any flowing water. So what we can do here is to engage this. Oh, it's that's why. Okay, hold on. There we go. So if we make it flow this way, and then it'll come back. Okay, so we can go ahead and make this flow any way we want it to. And as long as we're four blocks away from any water flowing or not flowing, we're fine and the farm structure is gonna work. So we just expand this guy out in this direction. Um, and then we can go down a level if we want later on. I don't like to have flowing water, so I'm going to stop him here. And we can just, oh, yep. Yeah, see, this is why you need to deposit your coins at the banker as soon as possible. Although actually falling into the void when you're not in combat won't lose coins, which is nice. It's a very convenient feature. But um, definitely want to deposit your coins. So this is what we're building. 
And you can actually cannibalize the dirt from your starter. A little island in the middle is what I would recommend doing. And of course, we didn't actually make a, a hoe. One of the problems with cannibalizing the dirt early on is that you won't be able to spawn the passive mobs. And the passive mobs are important because they give you collections, uh, which allow you to unlock minions, which is kind of what you know Skyblock's all about. But nonetheless, it is important to at least get some dirt so that you can have a decent sized farm started. So we're gonna grab about half of the dirt on the main island. Or, well, maybe a quarter actually, we might have enough. Anyway, point is, we'll, we'll get that farm set up in a second. But we need a hoe to do that, so we're gonna make a hoe, and we're gonna make a stone hoe because wood tools are for idiots who don't know how to mine stuff. So here we go. We've got a farm set up, and we're gonna plant our first wheat. And there we go, the wheat is planted. All right, guys, so now we have we have set up three of our initial basic structures. The first is um, the tree farm. The second is the regular farm. And the third is the cobblestone generator. Notice you have to make the cobblestone generator and the farm from the same block of water. In fact, we'll talk about the fishing minion in a later episode. He also would need to use the same source block. And I'll show you how to do that. Don't you worry. All right, now for the final structure that we're going to build is it's going to be the dark box. Now I'm going to show you again here a basic design and then explain to you how you can make it better in a subsequent video. So first off, you're going to want to go a certain number of blocks away from wherever you plan on standing. In my case, that's going to be either the tree farm or maybe the farm on the other side, the uh, cobblestone area where the water block is and where we can do some fishing. So we want to go at least uh, 22 blocks away so that mobs can spawn while we are at our main island. So I don't know how many blocks that is, but that should be good because they're spawning. All right, then I'm going to expand out this way. I like to expand out. Actually, I prefer the other, other design methods, so hold on. I'm just going to shift these up. Okay, here we go. So again, it's going to be a small one, and I'll show you how to expand it or even upgrade it later on. Now, this is where we need to start being careful. Once you get away from your main island, if you don't have light, mobs will start to spawn. Now, these early game mobs aren't too bad, right? They're pretty easy to kill um, without, well, even if you die, you don't have very many coins to lose. But it's still a little bit unpleasant. It is important to be able to kill the mobs. Now... The Enderman is actually a great mob to kill to start off because you can make an Ender Sword without unlocking anything. So all you need to do that is two Ender Pearls. So I have one and hopefully we'll get another at some point during this video. Anyway, we need to get back to building our... Ooh, ooh a creeper blew up. You gotta be careful with those creepers. I don't even see him. What the heck? I want this grass for the... Okay, all right. Eh, crap. This is the problem with this early game, is that when everything's not lit up, the mobs spawn all over the place in the, in the nighttime, and you end up dying. Okay. All right, there we go. Here we go. He's done absolutely nothing, and I'm going to go ahead and get some more cobble, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I got some more uh, cobble, I'm going to go ahead and kill our second Enderman here, who isn't going to drop... Oh, there he goes. He dropped me a pearl. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this pearl. So, um, as you may have noticed, we have a crappy sword to start with, which is the stone sword. There we go. Okay. But, by simply arranging the Ender Pearls and the, this in this manner, you can get the End Sword, which, first off, does plus 35 damage, so it's a better sword, and will actually deal double damage to Endermen, which is very useful because they're kind of hard to kill. As you can see, two shots is definitely better than the three was taking us before. All right, so back to the Dark Box, now that I've got some more cobble. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up 
So this is how we want to do it. You're just going to make a platform like this. Now the mobs are going to spawn on this platform, but we obviously don't want them to be accessible to uh, hit us because that would defeat the whole purpose of making a dark box. We could just hunt mobs on the island just like that. So we're going to want to make this about too wide, and the reason for that is for spiders. Um, they're annoying as crap. I hate it. And of course, we once again have run out of cobble. So I'll be back once again. All right, guys, I got myself some slabs. So we're going to go ahead and use them. Now, these can be cobble or wood slabs. It doesn't really matter. I find it a little bit easier to obtain uh, cobble slabs in the early, early game. Uh, but wood slabs are, you know, easier to obtain once you have some trees going. So then we're just going to make this dark box of a certain size. And I swear I'll never have enough materials. The point is you can build this out of anything. Don't build it out of dirt. Just, just don't. Don't do what I'm doing here. This is just to make this video not last the next hundred years or so. Um, and you want it one, two, three high. So this is perfect. And actually that was the incorrect. What you want to do is you want to put slabs on the top so that mobs don't spawn on the top. So you just want to fill up all of this with slabs all the way across. And then it will be closed and it will be a dark box. Would you look at that? What a surprise. It's actually what it's called. And the point of that is that you can spawn mobs inside that dark box. Now, that being said, that becomes really useful later on once you start unlocking different kinds of mobs, etc. In the beginning, you may just want to suck it up, take a bunch of deaths, uh, and make a big spawning platform. Or just use your you know, starter islands and go back and forth. And in order to unlock all of those mob collections. So in order to do that, you will need to get approximately 80 of each resource. So that's, you know, 80 rotten flesh, 80 spice string, etc. But the alternative and the safe mechanism to do so is to use a dark box like this. Um, you will actually need to make this into half slabs. Sorry, that was my mistake. Um, which also prevents mobs from spawning if you use the bottom half slabs, which is why this is such a cool design. All right, so that's it. You just kill the mobs in here and that's all you need. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Um, I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna be making a bunch more, how to get minions, how to make things more optimized, how to do cool things, how to get a villager so you can unlock villager trades all the things are going to be unlocked uh explained and etc so you know thanks for watching please like please subscribe and my name's scorpion i'll see you at the next video